Every time that my mind slip, I just see my past life. Having dreams in a dream, I wonder why I carried on with the things that made you lose your mind. There's no way I can undo what I've done. Can we be strangers against our fresh like a morning? What's so bad about that? So why won't you follow? Why won't you follow me home? Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday, March 20th, and it is almost 7.30. So if you didn't notice, the kids are not here. So I had a kind of like a solo morning, and I have a meeting starting at 7.30, and then I actually have back-to-back -back meetings until I think 9.30 or 10. Thankfully, Pete was able to take the kids to daycare because with it being like an hour drive, like round trip, I would have had to leave at like six in the morning and that's just like not okay <laughs> um, for the kids or for me. So Pete dropped them off. He left around like 6.45 and I saw they got clocked in around like 7.20. So um, they're all set and I got up around like 6 15 and got myself ready and got the kids ready and everything like that they have like a quick breakfast but um, yeah so I was able to kind of like make my coffee and read read a little bit um, before I had to log on to my meeting so it's weird it's like eerie being in the house right now without the kids and not like being rushing around doing breakfast and the whole morning routine and everything. So I don't know. But anyway, they were very good this morning and they were up already when we got them up. So it was nice. Anyway, I got to check my email right now and log on to this meeting and then I will catch back up with you probably around like 10 a.m. unless my meetings end earlier but yeah it's gonna be a very meeting heavy morning and then in the afternoon i just have this training at noon and then nothing else so that's good at least i'll be able to get some work done this afternoon okay let me hop on to my meeting and i will talk to you in a little bit It is 11.09 right now and oh my gosh, this morning was just so much. I had meetings literally until 10 o'clock and then my meeting ended early. It was actually like this big long meeting, supposed to end at 10.30, but it ended, over, ended at 10 and then I had to connect with um, a colleague for something else. So now it is 11.10, I am super hungry and I have to make my lunch really quick because I have a training that starts at noon. So, oh my gosh, it's a lot. Today is like, meetings just take over and they stress me out because then I'm like, oh my gosh, I only have a certain amount of time to get my actual work done. So anyway, I am going to make a little breakfast sandwich. I know, I'm like gonna shock you all. Deviating from my normal wrap, but I'm gonna make an egg. I got... I got this like ready to eat bacon at H-E-B and I don't know, it just kind of sounded good. So I'm gonna do bacon egg and provolone and I'm gonna put it on an English muffin with some lettuce and I love mayo and ketchup like on a breakfast sandwich. So, so good. It brings me back to all oh, the good old days when I worked in New York City and um, on like a Friday, I would get into work and then I would go to this little like cafe place and I would get a bacon, egg and cheese with shredded lettuce on it and mayo and ketchup and it was just the best, like so good. Anyway, I'm gonna make that and I have like so much stuff in my sink. I need to wash and clean up all of this disaster from last night's dinner and my dishwasher is run and clean so i'm going to eat lunch and then get everything cleaned up and then it should be probably around noon for my training every 
It is about 2.30 right now. I need a break. I feel like I have just been like too much screen time today, like not necessarily getting that much done, but just in meetings and I had that training and then I was on a call trying to get my reservations booked for this wedding that we're going to in May. And so I think I told y'all before, but during my company party, like our holiday party, they were giving away prizes and like the grand prize was this trip to anywhere in the United States paid for like airfare, hotel and transportation like by my company and I won that. So I was like, oh, this is perfect for us to use on the wedding that we're going to in May and so I've just been trying to like arrange those reservations with people in my company too so I don't know I feel like there's just like a lot going on and I need to just kind of take a break and decompress a little bit so I have a big load of my kids laundry that I need to fold so I'm just gonna do that now and then I don't know I'll probably make a coffee for the afternoon and um, wrap up work for the day It is about 3.45 right now. Um, 
I have just wrapped up work for the day. I need to kind of like sign off and go get the kids because Pete dropped them off at like 7.15 or 7.20 this morning. So they've been there for a while um, and I was working really early too. So I'm gonna go pick them up. I totally forgot, like I don't know if you guys can tell or if you noticed earlier, but like this whole bridge of my nose is bruised and I didn't get into a fight or anything like that. Nobody kicked me in the face or punched me in the nose. Um, I actually got Botox yesterday and I went to um, a woman who I had gone to maybe like a year and a half ago, but she also works um, as a nurse in labor and delivery at a hospital. So she's not always at the place. So I've always requested her because I really like her, but with scheduling and stuff like that, she I think she only works on Tuesdays and it never had like worked out for me. So I hadn't gone to her in like the last maybe two or three times. So anyway, she's kind of like reevaluating, you know, what I got last time and everything. And she's like, hey, do you want to, um, like scrunch your nose and I did and she's like do you want to put some Botox in here so that like when you scrunch your nose you don't have those lines because like I do have little you know like lines like that and I was like hey sure why not she's like yeah usually people really like that and you wouldn't think about it so anyway um, I trying it out it obviously is like very sensitive right here there's not much like fat or anything in your face right there so it bruised up like right away um, but it doesn't hurt or anything only if I like even when I press it, it doesn't really hurt. So anyway, it should be gone in a little while and I can always touch it up with makeup. But yeah, so I got my Botox. I'm feeling really good. I got, just in case you're interested, I got 58 units and I did like, I think 10 around like my eyes here and like my crow's feet, some in between here and then like in between, like in the middle of my forehead and then around the top and I'm bruising a little bit over here too. But yeah, so, oh man, it's been a while <laughs> since I had bro since I had Botox. I think I got it last in September. So try to go every like five months, and this is pushing it a little bit, but I cannot wait until this kind of like goes down. I also was asking her about the lip flip. Like I don't know. I feel like I'm seeing that everywhere, and I've been researching it, and I don't want. And it, it kind of, what it is, if you don't know, it's Botox injections like in your lip to like relax your lips. And it's not filler, it's Botox. So I like, I've thought about getting filler in my lips. Like I think I have pretty decent lips as it is. Um, so it, it's not been something like, oh, I really wanna get filler in my lips, but I've kind of like thought about it. I'm seeing like little lines coming through and stuff as I'm getting older, but with filler, I don't know. I've seen just like so many disasters where you look like a duck or it's just like gone wrong. And then filler, like she was telling me, cause I was asking her about it too. She's like, filler stays in your lips. And I guess there's ways of like getting it dissolved. But like ultimately she's like, if you're interested in doing something, we'll try the lip flip and you can see if you like it because then you're not actually like getting an injection that's gonna stay like obviously Botox will wear off and um, go away. You know, she was giving me a lot of information and I almost went through with it and tried it out. She said the one thing that people complained about is that they couldn't drink through a straw for like five days or something like that. So I don't know, I drink a lot of water through a straw, but she said it lasts for eight to 10 weeks, I believe. And because it's just like a few units of Botox, she's like, yeah, people love it because you can come in every couple months, get it for like 80 to 100, 120 bucks, and like you're done with it. And then it goes, if you don't like it, it goes away pretty quickly. So it's also not like very risky. Um, but I was telling her that I have this wedding in May and she's like, well, wait until after the wedding to get it because you don't know if you'll like it. So anyway, I don't know. I'm like curious about it now. And um, I'm thinking maybe next time I'll just try it out, see how I like it. Okay, the kids start their new daycare on April 1st. And this Friday, I'm actually taking them over. I think I've told you guys this before, but they're gonna go meet the teacher and see their classroom and meet the students in their class and everything on Friday for two hours in the morning. So that'll be nice. Um, it's gonna be kind of boring for me. They said you have to like stay on the premises. You can't leave. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to like 
bring my laptop so that I can actually work because I'm not gonna just sit in my car for two hours in a parking lot and do nothing. Uh, so hopefully that works out well. And yeah, we've got Easter coming up, Pete's mom and brother are coming into town. So a lot of fun stuff on the horizon. Alrighty, so I am, I gotta wrap up here and go get the kids, but I'm gonna end the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, please subscribe. Would love to have you join our community of working moms here on YouTube. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.